recently I've been asked uh, quite a bit about uh, low level control and being able to move each of Go One's joints. Now, uh, that's not an easy task. And obviously, if you're not familiar, you need to have uh, Go One suspended. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues. The ultimate goal is to implement some sort of kinematics to uh, generate completely new movements for Go One, but uh, I'm still learning, as I'm sure a lot of you are, and so the best thing that I've been able to find is being able to uh, visualize each of the joints in our viz as well as understand uh, the range of motion. So, for example, you'll notice here that I'm able to move the front right hip joint, the thigh joint, and these are actually uh, based off the Go One a URDF file which has min and max limits for uh, the rotational movements of these joints. In this video, I'm going to walk through uh, setting this up because it was not easy for me to figure out. I want to share it and then you'll be able to uh, visualize the joint movements and then I'll wrap up the video by uh, demonstrating a Python script where we'll be able to publish to a topic and uh, move this front right hip uh, back and forth. The one main requirement you'll need is to have Docker installed. I have desktop version running on my Windows machine and I've used this image in the past. We'll use it again. It's uh, quite amazing and a uh, shout out to the developer that put this together. It allows us to run a uh, Ross Melodic and other versions, but as well, we have a web-based interface uh, to access it. So I'll open up my terminal and I'll just put this command in here. The container is running and by default it'll run on port 6080. We can go ahead and then move forward with installing the necessary components. So the first thing I'll do is we'll do uh, add these commands so that we can get the latest uh, ROS sources. What we'll need to be able to do is install uh, one package called the joint state publisher GUI package. And that's what you saw at the beginning of the video that allows us to be able to navigate or manipulate each one of the joints uh, with on the Go One uh, simulation. So the next thing we'll do is I'll just run a sudo apt update. We'll install the package. We'll prefix it with Ross Melodic since that's the version I'm running. Okay, that package is installed and now we'll go ahead and move forward with uh, creating our workspace. We'll make the Catkin workspace as well as the source folder. I'll go ahead and go into the workspace. We'll go ahead and clone the ROS repository. So this is cloning the Unitree ROS repo into our source folder. Okay, let me go up a directory. We want to be in the root of our workspace and then we'll run cat can make. And I'll mention one thing here. This is important to keep in mind for what we're doing today. We want to uh, use our viz. We're not worried about gazebo or any of the other things. You'll notice an error and that's completely fine. I'll cover briefly what's going on. So ultimately we want to just do the visualization uh, using our viz as described here, but uh, you also have the ability uh, to launch into Gazebo and run some of the different controllers. And I'll cover that in a future video. Uh, that will be necessary to install additional dependencies. But for the sake of the RViz uh, piece of this, all you need to do is a clone Unitree ROS, run the cat can make like I just did, and then I'll do a source dev setup bash. And then we can do a ROS launch, go one description, and go one rviz.launch. Before I do that, let me just a call out here. You'll see these different description folders that have uh, the necessary uh, URDFs. URDF is the Unified Robot Description Format. The URDF describes uh, many of the joints, their positions, and range of motion. That's what allows us to uh, visualize this in RViz as well as uh, simulate in Gazebo. I'll go ahead and launch. What you'll notice is that this launch file will 
load RVIS, but it also have this joint state publisher GUI, which is awesome. That's what uh, we installed uh, at the beginning of this process. And just like that, we can zoom around, spin, uh, get to the right uh, view that we want, and then we can now manipulate each of the joints. There's also this little button that lets us randomize uh, the joint positions as well as center them uh, back to their default. So that's the first part of this video, uh, getting up and running with Arviz. Now I want to dive into a, a basic setup where we can run Python to move one of the joints. To begin this process, I'll show you the a folder we'll be working from. It's the Unitree controller folder. That's where we're going to put our Python code. I have this additional gist, which of course I'll put beneath the video. It's called move front right hip with Python. And what we'll do is the first thing we need to do is we could either write our code or update the CMake list file. I'll go ahead and update this file. We'll go into our workspace source folder and then the controller subfolder. And in here, you'll see this uh, CMake list. You could actually uh, mount this drive to your host so you don't have to edit directly inside of the uh, VM, but I'll just go ahead and do this now. And then I'll just add right here our uh, CMake declaration. We'll need to put paste it in. And I'll go ahead and right click, paste. Okay, so we have everything we need. You'll notice that we have a scripts folder with the joint mover.py file. That's what we're going to create. So in here, I'll create my scripts folder. And then I have called the file joint mover, or I will call the file joint mover. And don't judge my Python code. This was just a late night exploration of what could be done. Let me copy this, paste it in. We'll just take a quick look at it. We import the necessary packages. I have a function called mover. We're going to publish to the joint states topic. If you're not very familiar with topics, I'll just demonstrate that in this setup, we have various topics associated with Go1, so I'll just do a ROS topic list. You'll notice that we have these joint states. You can subscribe to it, listen to the messages, and see everything that's going on. But for now, we're going to walk through the rest of this code. So we have joint states, a joint state publisher is the node that we're creating, and then we're going to do a frequency of 10 hertz. So we'll send this message 10 times a second. And then you'll notice that we have uh, the, the various joints in here. We then have a front right hip position as a variable I created. It's just going to count up and down to the max and min range. So the max is 0 0.86. And if you're not familiar with these uh, numbers, these are uh, known as radians. So for example, a 0 0.86, if I bring up a calculator, we'll just do a simple conversion, 0 0.86 times 180 divided by pi. So that's 49 degrees. So that front right hip has a range of up to 49 and then uh, minus 49. So let me just give a visualization of that real quick. If I go in here and we'll do the right, the front right hip, let me get all these windows out of the way. So we're going up. Positive is obviously internal rotation. And then a negative is external. So that's our range, basically a full range of 100 degrees. So you'll notice that we're counting up and then when we get to the max, I'll invert the sign and it'll count down. So it'll basically loop and send that back and forth. And then all the other joints I've left in their default positions. So now I'll just do a basic copy and paste. I'm going to grab this. We'll paste it into our VM clipboard. So our code is in here. I'll find where I was going to create this Python file. I'll right click and click paste. So now our code is in. 
let me call out one mistake that I've made instead of trying to re-edit everything. I think it's sometimes helpful to see errors in real time. So earlier I had us create this scripts folder with the joint mover Python script, but I didn't put it in the scripts folder. So that's what I need to do. I'm going to move it in. So now if we look inside of scripts, we'll have our joint mover and then we need to make this file executable. That is a big problem that I've run into many times is I've forgotten to uh, make it executable. So we should see now that it's green. That means it's executable. I'm going to go back and do a cat can make. And that should build everything. I'll do a ROS run unitary controller and then our joint mover Python script. So let's go ahead and execute it and see what happens. So now you'll notice that our front right hip is going internal to the max, which is that 0.86 radians, I believe, or 50 degrees, and then it's going out. So you might say to yourself, oh, it's going a little slow. I want to animate it a little faster so I can uh, run some tests or test some of the other joints. Uh, you can very easily go in and change the rate, which will uh, increase the speed, but I encourage you to uh, go through this process, take a look around. I found it very uh, educational for me just to be able to understand the different joints. The next thing obviously we want to do is uh, use the Unitary ROS to reel, uh, put this up on the rack and experiment with different joint movement. I hope this video was helpful. I know I learned a lot uh, trying to get this up and running. Uh, please give it a try and let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, thanks for watching.